And I also read that it's not uncommon for women with ADHD to um, have other problems like drinking excessively or chronic lack of sleep. Um, do you see this a lot in your practice? Absolutely. So I've got both of those separately because they're kind of, um, you know, they both are issues, but they have different sort of root causes. Um, drinking, excessive like sugar intake, things like that. Oftentimes that's driven from our brain's need to access some dopamine. So dopamine is a neurotransmitter in the brain. It's very linked to motivation. Um, and people with ADHD are thought to not be able to access that dopamine as easily. So when you consume sugar, when you consume alcohol, some illegal substances, you get like a big hit of dopamine right away. Um, and that makes you feel great. But what happens is when you have that big spike of dopamine, your baseline levels reset to lower. So then we keep craving more and more and more um, without even really knowing why. Like we think we just like it, but our brain is truly looking for that dopamine to feel activated um, and find some motivation. So the drinking sugar addiction is something that people with ADHD should have um, you know, education on because they are more susceptible in that way. The sleep, uh, the sleep issue, that one's a complicated one, but there are a lot of studies that show that um, a large percentage of people with ADHD have something called uh, delayed sleep phase syndrome, which in layman's terms just means that their biological like circadian rhythm is later. So instead of like kind of naturally falling asleep with the, you know, the sun and the sun rising and like normal, you know, people do, we, our rhythm is set a little bit later. So that can be kind of a huge issue when you got to get up at like 6 a.m. to go to work 